Alright, I'm back at it. <clears throat> I don't know about y'all, but today was the longest Friday in the history of Fridays. I swear, I'd, I'd look at the clock and it, <laughs> it's going backwards. Couldn't wait to get home. So, my goal for today before I shut down and uh, call, it, call it a night and go inside is um, to go ahead and get the uh, parts washer fitted, hopefully mounted, starting on the bed liner or uh, bed armor from uh, color. The first thing I'm going to do is right over here I have decided that I'm going to go ahead and cut cut these two boards and this little overhang and just leave this drywall. Uh, I may later on come and put something over here, who knows, maybe a, a recessed uh, and you know what, that might not be a too too bad of an idea. Maybe a recessed bookshelf. You know, cut this drywall out and then frame in a... Hmm. Might be able to hold... No, I doubt it would. It's only going to be about four inches, maybe three inches, four inches deep. But uh, anyways. Uh, point is, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. This is irritating the hell out of me. Cut this off. Uh, the only thing is, is that with this board right here that we see now, of course, this is the entire 12 foot uh, two by four, but this board uh, was a piece of a 12, uh, 10 foot that, if you notice, comes in. It's it's lag bolted into the two by four right here and at the other end, but there's nothing connecting it here. So what I'll end up doing once I cut it off from here is uh, I'll go ahead and stick it back in place and then I'll cut a new board the same length and then just attach it to this guy and uh, if I had a long enough lag bolt I'd, I'd go straight through the new board through this one into the wall but at least uh, by putting a board back here I could uh, you know stiffen this up a bit you know so because this is the weakest point for it but anyways uh, the trouble with that is, is, in order to get these two cut, uh, this one won't be so hard, but to get this one cut, I'm going to go ahead and have to disassemble this bottom area and this top area, pull it all off, uh, pull the lag bolt out there and there, and then, uh, you know, trim it, and just make sure that it doesn't stick out, but that's part of my goal for today, to do that. Um, Get the parts washer mounted and hopefully started on the uh, bed armor coating for this. And then if uh, I'm lucky, I'll uh, start on my shelves. Uh, you know, the two shelves here and then the long shelf that'll go down this way. And of course this shelf will be the one that holds, you know, my power tools, the big chunky stuff. Um, these two shelves will hold my brake cleaner. Um, grease, you know, whatever, spray bottles, stuff like that. All right, well, I'll cut you on when I get some work done. I'm going to go ahead and pop this garage door open. It's it's about, what does that say? Uh, reflections of pain. It's about 83 degrees in here. Humidity, about 60. Man, that reflections of pain. There we go, about 60%. All right, well, <clears throat> battery's going dead on my clock because <laughs> it's about 5.40, not 4.40. All right, here I go. I'll cut you on here in a little bit when I've got some more work done. I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, good news is i got the parts washer disconnected from uh, its stand over there. Here's the lid. This little uh, hinge is just riveted in. It's actually red. Kind of looks orange in the camera. But, uh, alright, I'm just test fitting it. Uh, one thing I did get completed is I cleaned up this edge over here. And, uh, oh, there seems to be a traffic jam on the street. Cleaned that up, so I'm happy with that. It gives me that space test fitting this I have the uh, three-quarter inch uh, plywood off the top of this just to make sure I have the proper de depth front to back side to side is not a big deal I've got a good inch and a half to play with 
maybe half an inch on either side once I get it centered. One thing that kind of concerns me, even though I have um, this going to be sitting on the plywood, as you can see, I'd, I'd really like a friction fit on the side here so I don't have to build some kind of support base. But I may, I may go ahead and build a uh, support base for it. I don't know. I'm going to see how it fits when I put the plywood on here and I cut the hole out for this. It's going to be very similar to uh, installing a countertop sink. <clears throat> Excuse me. In fact, it's going to be exactly like that. So I think with the three-quarter inch and if I could come up with some way of doing like a... Uh, friction fit to where these sides will kind of push in but anyways I'll, I'll figure something out but uh, I took the pump out there it is in all its glory learned a, <laughs> a valuable lesson don't leave uh, cleaner in your uh, parts washer there is some nasty stuff down there in fact let me see if I can get a Get a screw or something. Dig some of this up. I mean, that's some pretty nasty stuff. Almost consistency of uh, paper mache. So I'll be uh, vacuuming this out and cleaning it out. So there you go. So uh, pop the, uh, the the pins out of here. Drilled the rivets out, and uh, I think we'll be good. So I'll, uh, I've got, at least I've got that cleaned up there. You know, a test fit to make sure this is going to work. I've got enough space front to back. I don't have to build anything in the side to side. I don't know. I think. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll put another board in here just to square it up. And then kind of give it a friction fit on the, on the base right about here. And then have the, uh, the lip supporting it on the three quarter inch base. But you know what, as I'm thinking about it, sitting by itself, it's fine. But the minute I start putting heavy drum, uh, drum brakes in there or heads or disc brakes or uh, intake uh, manifolds that's going to be a lot of weight on this little guy I may have to build a support base do something all right well I'm going to go get something to eat and uh, think on this and then come back out here and hit it again I'll uh, videotape as soon as I get some more done but, uh, there you go talk to you later all right well, I didn't get as far as I wanted to tonight, but considering it was a work day and I've only been on it for about two hours, I'm happy. I didn't get the uh, backboard uh, secured or my uh, shelves done, but <clears throat> I did get the uh, wash pan parts washer mounted and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Got a pretty tight fit. Um, I mean, this thing, if I ever have to take this bench down, I'm just going to have to cut it down with it in there because it is not coming out. We'll see how it does over, the, over time <clears throat> as the wood shrinks and expands with humidity and lack of, but I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. Uh, took me a little bit to, uh, to measure out my, my cut, but... So far, I think, uh, I think I did pretty good. Looks pretty even. It's pretty flush. A uh, little bit of a gap, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I'm sure some of the uh, coating that I'm going to put on top will, will take care of that. I'm going to run with this setup for a while, see how it does on the weight. This thing is not moving. 
Um, we'll see how it does. I don't expect to wash an entire engine in it, but I'd like for it to handle intake manifolds and valve covers and air intakes and stuff like that, but <clears throat> throttle bodies and whatnot. So at least I got that done. I got this side cleaned up like I wanted. So tomorrow, Saturday morning, I can come out here and see if I can finally get my shelves up. But that uh, went smoothly until about the last quarter inch and then it took me kind of walking it in on each corner with a little bit of uh, wood and a couple of hammers. But uh, I'm pretty happy with it. We'll sleep on it. I, I hate to be, you know, nitpicky, but I, I wouldn't. I don't want a gap. But oh well. I'm happy it's in. Almost there. Let me show you with the lid on what it's going to look like. Uh, still haven't decided what I'm going to do with the hinge, but basically. Well, it's not in use. It's going to sit like that. Yeah, I kind of fell off the... Uh... Yeah, I have, to... I have to bang that out, but... I uh... guess that's not too bad. I think the metal's warped. stopping it. Get your get your fat thumb out of the way, Pat. Yeah. Oh well. You know, close enough for government work, right? Okay, well there you have it. That's the way it's gonna sit when it's not in use and of course I'll probably get rid of that. Oh man my back's killing me. Ah, why not like a little girl? But anyways, that's uh, the way it's going to sit. We'll sleep on that for a little while. See, if I think that's going to be okay. And I'll be able to take the top, you know, and then flip it over here and lay parts on as I uh, get them cleaned. But uh, that's where I'm at tonight. Hopefully, man, I'm hoping this weekend I can get it to where at least I can see what the shelves are going to look like. Just get a picture of it because I still got a lot to do to this garage, but you know, this is the first step. All right, guys, wish I could have gotten some more detailed videos, but uh, measuring that and stressing over it, and measuring it again, and uh, anyways, <clears throat> I will uh, record some more when I get some more done tomorrow. But uh, this is it for tonight, at least I got that uh, two of my three goals that mounted <clears throat> the end over there cleaned up uh, actually two of my four goals the two I didn't get done was the uh, backboard and my shelves but I should be able to knock that out tomorrow anyways y'all have a good night I'll go ahead and get this uploaded and we'll talk to y'all later